Welcome back guys to our campaign playing the game Waiting Simulator for Yes, we are just waiting. Waiting for truces to Yeah, go away. So we can attack the Mamlux and then of course we're gonna annex Hijaz and we're gonna take the Where is it? The acquire new subjects of course. So let's see when is it gonna be done? In 75, okay, that's horrible. Yep, that's gonna take so long, so long. But yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> I did give them the land, so... I mean, Hijaz is pretty big, he's 200 development. Mm. Mercury is gonna be quite a bit easier, so... I guess we should actually vassalize him first when we can. Maybe not if we need opinion. Does he not like us? Let's improve. We need to improve the opi opinion, yes. I see the Ottomans want to marry us, sure. Uh, we don't really need the spy network anymore. Let's just spend some mill somewhere. Because we're constantly at the cap. So now we're just gaining five. We could just take tech too. Let's do that. And let's get the sure. Poland is no longer a valid rival, so that was actually pretty good that we rival rivaled them there because now we eclipsed them. And we got the power projection for it. We can we are rival to Muscovy, so let's send a scornful insult. Nice. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I thought Mamluks were going to join, but they didn't. Okay. Never mind then. Let's just make the merchant guilds disloyal. We are making so much income right now, so we don't really need to worry about them. Unless we want to develop, of course, but and we do because we need the institution. But ex it's so expensive to develop. So Cyprus and the Knights. Okay, I guess that's a pretty easy war. Not even gonna bother. Bother trying to do it. Oh wait, wait, we're allies in the same war, right? So we can attack it. We can attack Aiden now. Yep. Let's do that, that's a great plan. That's actually really good that the Ottomans called us in here. Now hopefully we're gonna finish our war before they finish theirs, because I think they can call them in. If we don't finish it before. So let's go, kill them. Kill, kill, kill. How much of their land do we need? We actually do need all of it, so we do need to siege down the ally too, because else we won't be able to to get the provinces, so we should actually move over here. It just does have naval supremacy, so that's good. Nice, good subject, good subject. Let's siege down the ally of the war, and let's start sieging their capital with our siege. He does, he does unfortunately not have uh, siege pips anymore, the siege stack, but it's fine. They don't decide any of the land, that would be very weird, right? Yep. Okay, they don't. Let's hopefully just piece them out when we can. And the Ottomans can actually piece out now, which is not good. We need to be able to as well. Let's actually barrage, because we do have millet. 
mil points for that. So let's just spend them. Nice. Do you want out yet? You don't. But why? You probably will in a moment <laughs> when you realize your whole country is on fire. Did their capital just fall? Yep, it did. Wait, what's happening here? The Knights hold roads, length of war, ally in war, ongoing battles. Okay, so they're actually staying in the war because of a battle right now. Do they want to peace out yet? They do. Can we get money from them? We can. Let's do that. And let's go fully occupy this guy. Let's get the garage. Let's go up here and siege down this fort too. Now hopefully the knights won't lose their uh, fort in the meantime. That would be very bad. Did they get a... They did get a wall breach. So that is pretty nice. So let's just go and siege down all of this. Instead of wasting more men on the siege. Let's get the mercantilism. They are at a minus 7%. We should be able to get these sieges done before unless we're extremely unlucky we did get that one now okay we did get that one too okay let's transfer all this to adjust and then piece them up out hopefully here because we are annex annexing adjust oh actually it's not their last province so they're more likely to accept and they will accept which is very nice we don't need that one right okay good so this also connects hejaz land so they're able to fight off their rebels if need be nice okay let's go up to prepare for the mamlukian war even though i don't think we need much preparation now the mamluks are pretty destroyed <laughs> Do I have a lot of money? We can we can give the Timurids access, sure. You can move through my lands. So Biapas actually expanded quite a bit up here. And Mushasha did alright too, even though we kinda destroyed them. We got 11 favors by doing nothing again. We are at 100 favors now, aren't we? Yep. Incredible. That's uh, ship trade power. That's always nice. And let's build a bunch of ships. Whoops. That's one too many, but that's fine. Naval force li limit doesn't matter that much. Our leader left us. Okay, we keep losing loyalty with these guys. Hmm. That's a high manure guy, gotta be honest. We are two thirds almost to getting the institution in our country. What should we spend our money on? 
probably just another level 3 thing, right? What, have, what uh, province are we getting the most trade power from? Aleppo, okay. Was actually the province I was uh, looking at. Yep, there we go. 65 trade power now. Amazing. The Ottomans actually do have a lot of trade power. I don't know why. They have a few provinces then... Oh, the transfers from downstream, I guess. It was in 63 that the truce was up, right? I think it was. So let's just wait. We could do something with the Alexandria node soon. Since we are actually getting a fair sh tr sh share of the trade. So, yeah, that's nice. It's even more money. Probably gonna have nearly all of it soon. <laughs> when we conquer it from the Mamluks. The unrightful claimers. So yeah, waiting simulator 2019. This is great. We are at 18% of annexation. It's gonna take a while, but that's just the way it is. Till 82. Let's get some claims, we might as well. And we're close to getting to the date where we can attack again. In April. March, April, there we go. And let's go, boys. Move in. Can we actually fully annex this guy now? No, not even close. Well, okay. Let's go. Siege down his capital. And are there any more forts? Nope. We kind of took them all in the last war. We don't need to fully annex him because he has a lot of stuff we don't need. Or... Not a lot, but a bit, yes. Oh, that's Aiden, actually. But it does have some here that we don't need, for example. But we do need all of this. I have revolts. Okay, let's kill them then. We can call in the Ottomans, let's just do that, just for fun. We have all the favors we need, so... We might as well, right? Why you got to do this, boys? Let's move. Try to see if we can get there in time. I doubt it, but... I mean, hopefully, right? Hopefully we'll get there. So what do we want? Do we want all of this? All of this? All of this? We can't take it, damn it. Then we have to wait. Oh no. We have to wait once again. <laughs> no. What is this? Unhappiness. Keep getting it. I think we've gotten it like three times in a row now. Army professionalism is nice though. Gives us more siege ability. Yeah, move into the desert. Do it. Do it now. I think we're just gonna take ideas. Core creation cost. Now we got some cavalry compatibility. And we're 
Almost there. Did actually get there, which is quite amazing. I didn't expect it. So these guys are just standing here. Okay, let's go. Kill them. Kill them. Uh, let's spend the money because we have so much of it. Hire another advisor since he died. The bastard. Is the, let's see, is this the most efficient? Way to take stuff. It is not. Let's. If we took those, we can't really get to those. So let's not. Um, let's give this to Makoria. Or. Um, let's not actually. Let's just keep it to ourselves here. You. This is disgusting. But. <laughs> oh well. Janagar. Let's rival Spain as well and let's uh, embargo them. Send them an insult and embargo them. Get up that power projection. Let's just embargo Muscovy too. Because we forgot to do that when uh, when we rivaled them. Twenty four percent here. Oh god, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Is there like a thing that gives me diplomatic reputation? Yes, let's do that one. We don't need the. We don't need the money. Let's just try to annex these guys as quickly as possible. That would be great. Let's get up to speed 5 here, because there's nothing really to do here. Bef Make them course as we go. Let's start getting the institution now. Because we will definitely have the money to embrace it. Never mind. <laughs> we need a thousand ducats. The Empire of China is doing pretty good. Hmm. Keeping up their mandate. Let's see. Separatists for the Mamluks. Okay. That's uh, quite a respectable rebellion there. They're probably gonna pop in Cairo. Just a guess, but... Yep. Because it's the highest development province. That's usually where the rebels spawn, or almost always. Now we're a third of the way to getting them annexed. Damn, that's a. Uh, that's just harsh treatment, these guys. That's not actually. Wow. That's a lot of rebels. Or a lot of provinces, at least. 
the Ottomans against Astrakhan, yes. We are gonna help you. Except we're not. Is there something that decreases, like... Nope, nothing that decreases diplomatic annexation. That would have been nice. Let's just get the... You know what, let's just get this one. We're not gonna get absolutism, but fuck it, if we do, we do. Yes. Do we have something that Diplo rep? Yes, let's get that guy. Let's move all our troops to Aleppo and kill that guy. And the Ottomans actually came and helped us and we got 40 favors again. Completely broken. I don't know what's happened to the game, but we get so many favors. So this is kind of the boring part about EU4 when you're doing achievements. It, the most fun part is, is of course, doing it at the start. Wait, we got rebels up there too? Because that's the most challenging bit. Let's not lose these two provinces to rebellions. That would be annoying. Oh, Biaba's almost lost while defending in the mountains. Wow, that's a weak army, or maybe it just rolled very poorly. So yeah, let's fabricate a claim. Stamp down the movement, sure. When can we attack again? Mm, 79, okay, that's a bit away, but that's fine. When are we gonna have these guys annexed? 78? So... Muslim infantry? Muslim musketeers? What was it? Was it the cavalry? Yes, Muslim musketeer cavalry. Yes. Incredible. Diplo points. Let's get this core done. Do we need more tech? Probably not. Grand banks, fisheries. What's this? Our explorers in Newfoundland. Isn't this like... So they have colonies? Is that what you're saying to me? Oh, poor Denmark didn't get to annex Sweden. I would have loved to see that. A huge Denmark. Would have been nice. Because that all that rarely happens. So how much uh war score is there? Wait, has the province only has the most basic of defenders defenses. Okay. That's actually something I haven't looked at before. So I just got a bit surprised there. We can embrace the institution. We'll do that, just because we can. <laughs> Janaga no longer a valid rival. So our embargo is really not necessary. And it's still a waiting game. When was it that we were gonna get just annexed? 
in 78, okay. We're gonna get any diplomatic reputation that's there. So not soon. This is unfortunate, but... Okay. Could actually get some Diplo points here to do it. Let's grant Monopoly Charters and Crew Minister and let's get the Diplo points there. Could do all the other clicks here. We're not gonna could do this one, we're gonna do this one just for the lols. We don't need them, we just need to annex this guy and... Yep. Annex this guy, kill the Mamluks entirely. How much of the Mamlukian land do we need? Do we need like, to take a bunch or just a little bit? Okay, so we just need these four provinces. Okay, that's not that bad, I think. Or also these ones. Okay. Where are the rebels spawning? Beja? We could drill our troops. Hmm. I have to do something. Yeah. Go ahead and do something then. Let's go to Beja or wherever that is. Hmm. Administrative tech cost. Hmm. Okay guys, it's actually about that time, so I know much hasn't happened in this episode, but I guess that's just the way it is in the late game EU4. Uh, next episode we'll probably finish off the achievement uh, by conquering the last bit of land from the Mamluks, hopefully annexing Hedjaz and Makuria too, because they don't have much development so it won't take that long. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode, with m which might be the final one. So, yeah. Bye-bye.